Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to do a quick guess what's in the box video on this large box that I got from a buddy of mine, Josh Young. He runs PNW Forerunner Connection. Uh, so please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. What is up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Alright, so today we're going to do a quick guess what's in the box video. This is a pretty, pretty large box. Um, I did pick this up from a buddy of mine, Josh Young. Um, uh, got a couple items from him um, in the mail today. He runs PNW Automotive our PNW Forerunner Connection um, website, as well as he um, also has um, information on Facebook. Um, but this box is fifty-six and three quarters of an inch long, or four foot, and. eight inches and three quarters of an inch long if you want to go that route. Um, it is six inches and a quarter an inch wide and it is six inches and a half an inch deep. Um, only guess I'm going to give you guys is it's for the cargo area. Um, for the vehicle for the 2000 limited 4x4 forerunner it is for the cargo area um, but you know just a quick video uh, wanted to talk to you guys real quick about it um, and do a just a you know have fun kind of play around have you know do just a quick guess what's in the box video because these are kind of fun for me especially since the truck accident um, tend to really haven't been doing much videos other than these and you know unboxings here and there um, I do need to get back to the SR5 and start tearing it apart um, I'm looking at a couple different forerunners possibly um, picking up a uh, 1997 forerunner for um, the buddy of mine that lives in town has um, that the engine he blew the engine when he was um, off-roading and uh, it was built as an off-road only rig um, and looking at picking that up um, because I can use majority of the undercarriage parts like the axles and everything on the uh, I can use the rear axle on the limited and then I can use the front uh, diff the CV um, axles and the um, transfer case and everything on the SR5 as well as um, it's got steering knuckles and everything else and thousand dollars for um, what I what he offered me was um, on that rig instead of buying the whole rig what I what I was originally going to do was going to buy some of the stuff off of it but I'm thinking on offering him a price for the whole rig um, that way you know I can use the brake lines off that rig to uh, put uh, fix the brake lines on the Limited because it's got rusted out brake lines. Um, the Limited's got a, a rusted axle in the rear. Uh, I'm not sure how far the damage is uh, yet on that. But, um, so he offered me for $1,000 to get the front diff, front CV axles, both um, four-wheel drive knuckles, um, front diff, transmission, both drive shafts, um, upper lower control arms for both sides in the front, um, the lifted struts, um, which are coilovers. He's got co uh, coilovers. It's got a, uh, a six inch lift on it. So coilovers, spacers, um, as well as rotors, calipers, brake pads, everything that it has. Um, for a thousand dollars which is not bad because Toyota just for the the passenger side steering knuckle they want nine hundred and eighty seven dollars um, just for that knuckle so to get all of those parts plus two knuckles and everything for 
you know, a thousand dollars isn't isn't a bad deal at all. Um, I'm gonna end up offering him a little bit above that because it has no interior. It doesn't have any dash. It's basically stripped bare bone. The front clip is gone. It doesn't have a bumper. The only thing I think that's left from the front clip is the is the the hood. Um, the quarters are, he still has the quarters or the fenders, front fenders, but, uh, basically there's nothing left to the front end. Um, he has the headlights and stuff, but figured I'd give him an offer. It's a possibility we're going to be bringing that, uh, to the channel. Strip it down. It does have a decent body. Uh, it's got some damage on one of the doors. It's not a big deal. Maybe I can turn that into, uh, another, uh, off-roading rig. Maybe put some Ford axles under it or something like that down the road um, I'll let you guys know on that I'm also looking at um, a couple completely uh, built um, forerunners 2000s uh, forerunners that um, actually already have lift kits um, just like the limited I just bought looking at another limited 4x4 2000 model possibly might be looking at picking one of those up we'll have two running units um, my SR5 that needs repair, and then, you know, possibly a salvage rig that we can tear parts off for, you know, a parts rig. But, um, I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Sorry about the doorbell. FedEx just stopped by. But, just a quick video. Um, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJ Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace!